Siyun program. Siyun program simplified Chinese, Chinese letter, 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 traditional Chinese, Chinese letter, 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 letter. Pioneer, Siyun Jiha is a training program for excellent students at Tsinghu University, Fudan University, Renmin University of China, Siamen University, Sun Yat-sen University, and Jilin University. This program is sponsored by Professional and Educational Services Limited PES Aoni and is carried out under the leadership of both Student Department or School Committee of Communist Party and School Committee of Youth League. With the idea of receive help, self-help and then help others, Siyun is aimed at training excellent students to understand the essence of dedication, innovation and leadership. Every spring, Siyun will recruit its new members from freshmen, those elected are outstanding students with different major backgrounds. Once admitted, these students will have the chance to be trained at social work to perceive the situation of the country and to cultivate a global horizon. Siyun started in Tsinghua and has spread to other five universities by now. It selects 30 students a year from each university. Name The name of the program, Siyun, which means to remember the wellhead in Chinese, comes from the Chinese idiom never forget where one's happiness comes from. This name is closely related to the concept and idea of this program. For more, please refer to the idea part. Sponsor The initiator of Siyun program is Dr. Kai Mbingi, who is now the director of Professional Education Systems Institute PESI, which is a non-profit organization of people united by Chinese North in California, founded in 1988. The organization works for promoting the education and profession exchange between North America and Asia. Dr. Kai graduated from University of California, Berkeley and gets his PhD at University of California, San Francisco. Another initiator is Mr. Zhe Warren Sandy Chow, who is both a successful entrepreneur in the IT industry and a kind philanthropist. He is now a board member of Achiever Corporation in California, the United States of America and the president of Shinshin Educational Foundation, U.S. He also graduated from UC Berkeley. Tsinghu Entrepreneurs and Executive Club Teak is an independent non-government organization founded by Tsinghu Alumni dedicated toward promoting innovation and startups in high-tech industries. When Mr. Zhu Wirin decided to set up the CUM program in Tsinghu, he wanted to match each student in this program with a mentor. Some Tsinghu alumni who have carved out an IT industry came up with the idea to start up Tsinghu Entrepreneur Group TEG, the predecessor of Teak. There is a CUM committee in Teak to deal with the contact between entrepreneurs and students. Teak has been supporting CUM program since it was set up in 2001. Idea The idea of CUM can be interpreted as receive help, self-help and help others. Actually, this idea was first put forward by the founders of Teak. Narrowly speaking, receive help means that Tsinghu students benefit from Tsinghu's education. Self-help means that Tsinghu alumni help each other when they go to work and fight for the cause. Help others means that successful alumni give their hands to students with their experience. But in a general sense, CNOs prefer the following explanation. It be helped means be helped by anyone when they need help, especially when they are at school. Self-help means help each other who are related to see you in program, especially students and selves help others of means. That cycle lays stress on social responsibility and the spirit of service. Training program. Every student selected by the program will be trained according to the training plan. The current version of the plan contains two main aspects, summer practice and training during the semesters. The summer practice will last throughout the whole four years of these undergraduates. They take part in three practice programs during three summer holidays respectively. The themes of the three practice programs are rural and China, economics and China and a globe and China. During rural and China, which is in the first summer, students go to underdeveloped areas in China. They support the education there as tutors and investigate the poverty and problems of development. The economics in China requires students to go to the developed areas in China, such as the Yangtze River Delta. In the third year, with the program Globe and China, students go to Hong Kong to broaden their horizons and understand the globalization of China today. During the three years at school, there are also three themes, teamwork, volunteerism and organizing skills and leadership training. Students will take part in orientation, a course called Introduction to the Social Service of College Students, youth forms, and so on. Organization. Every spring, CUM will select excellent freshmen from all departments. After the writing test and interview, the list of new CUNers will be open to the public. Students graduated in different years are named after ordinal numbers. The first CUNers are the 2001 ones, who are called CUN first, so the most recent ones are called CUN seventh. 
there will be one or two support tutors assigned to the new CUN as every year. CUN is organised under the leadership of Organisation Department of School Committee of Youth League. In the year 2008, CUN formed a complete organisation called CUN Group. There are five subgroups in charge of contact and investigation, propaganda and planning, inequality expanding, networks and websites, internal liaison and recruiting separately. The CUNers manage themselves in this organisation and facilitate the development of the programme. The mission of Contact and Investigation Group is to do some researches on the influence the program itself has on CRNOs, that is whether they have understood the idea of be helped, self-help and help others. Besides, they have to update the contact information so that CRNOs can keep in touch with each other even when they graduate from school. Planning and Promotion Group takes charge of the propaganda work. They edit stuff to bring this program known to outsiders. The materials will also be useful when the website is being set up. Sponsors, teachers and assistants are all glad to keep up with what CEOs are doing now. So propaganda and planning group plays really an important role. Inequality expanding group searches for information of lectures, exhibitions and performances. Then they organise CEOs in different grades to attend these activities, which not only edifies their minds but also facilitates communications. Networks and Websites Group is in charge of CUN's own website. The website hasn't been set up until now, 2008. Internal Liaison Group organizes literature and sport activities regularly to build up relations between CUNers, which include some favorite and popular ones, such as football games and Cora OK. Recruiting Group recruits new members for the program. Every spring, they filter resumes, design examinations, help to interview students and finally help to decide who will be selected as new members.